Hello kids! Last week was a really slow news week. Being that most of us were huddled inside without other human interaction for two days due to last week's blizzard, it's really no surprise. Since we have had no celebrity deaths, haircuts, or insta marriages, the nightly news has left me with no surefire through line. So instead, I'll be giving you the top odd news headlines from last week. An off-duty Northwest employee ejaculates on a sleeping passenger during a flight. More to come. A 76-year-old man is being held on counts of attempted murder after striking an 81-year-old woman in the head with a mallet. Man claims the woman wanted to get hammered. A television photographer in Cedar Rapids was fired after urinating in a cemetery while waiting for the funeral of an Iowa soldier. Another journalist photographed the incident. This is the first time that making water made news. A Berlin teen is being accused of making an ostrich impotent, causing the farmer to lose $6,450 in lost offspring. Farmer states that after the teen lit the fireworks, the once lustful Gustav became apathetic and depressed. So remember, more bang, less buck. A dozen middle-aged and elderly men accepted an invitation to work out nude in a Dutch gym. In unrelated news, a Dutch gym has closed after all its patrons had found out that sweaty naked men had frolicked with all its equipment. The Swiss accidentally invade Liechtenstein after losing their bearings. One soldier was quoted as saying, I have a fork, a spoon, a USB hub, an orange peeler, hmm, but no compass. Two packages containing human body parts were delivered to a home in Michigan. The packages, which included a liver and part of a human head, were mistakenly thought to be pieces of a table according to a DHL driver. Authorities say 28 other packages could be dispersed throughout the country. Honey, are you sure this is a table leg? In other news, a man is being treated for knife wounds after breaking into his ex-girlfriend's apartment and threatening her with a three-foot sword. Her roommate, Luis Delgado Hernandez, disarmed the intruder with his own sword. My name is Luis Delgado Hernandez. You scare my roommate. Prepare to die. A Barnstead man pleaded guilty to stealing three pairs of panties as a Valentine's Day gift for his wife. Ronald Reamer was charged $240 on a misdemeanor shoplifting charge. Police say he stole $22 of women's underwear from Sears. Sears. Sharon Naismith was sentenced to nine months of community service for smuggling fish from Asia in her dress. Custom officials said they were tipped off after hearing a flipping noise from her clothing and decided to do a full check. Police said that the smell first tipped him off. <laughs> And lastly, a Walmart store in Palm Coast, Florida was closed after two customers started a fire in the sporting goods section. Sheriff's deputies said that a man with long hair, a baseball cap, and a woman were videotaped kissing before sparking the fire. Police believe both suspects to be in their 30s, and the woman had long auburn hair, was wearing a white sweatshirt and dark pants, according to the fire marshal. Other distinguishing traits would be that both suspects are probably still on fire. Police <laughs> Police say they were first tipped off by the smell, but